Hello everybody, welcome back to another brand new Air Aviation Jeffers. I hope you're doing really well. So today we are heading to Almeria Airport um, down in the south of Spain. Um, I've been to this airport probably, i say, four times. Um, it's a very small airport uh, in the south of Spain. It goes by the name Almeria. Um, I've done this route from Gatwick probably the years 13, 14, 15 and 16. So um, I'm quite familiar with it. And um, I thought we're going to fly this route in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in the fly-by-wire A320 Neo um, mod, like X. So um, because I've I've seen it being flown around and it looks really good, so I've started to grab it. I've had a few test rounds in it. Um, it's very good, much better. I sell camera views as well. So um, yeah, I mean we're going to give it a go. We won't be on Vatsim because I'm not that confident in uh, MSFS yet. But hey ho. So Amria. Search fleet, we're in the A20 and N, so the NEO aircraft. Easy call sign 5164, be the same over here as well. And generate and here that. is our route for the trip to Almeria. So flight time is approximately 2 hours and 53 minutes. Usually it's about 2 hours 30, so I think it won't be as long as that. But um, maybe because of wind, I don't know. So we're departing on the, well I do think it's a 2-6 left departure for one. That would help. Um, it says that we're going to be on the, if we go to sim talk, um, sim brief, it says we're going to be on the Novum 1x ray, so we'll pop that in. Uh, Novum 1x ray, there we are. And then at Almeria, we should be on the Essil 2 Charlie. Dry ILS wire. that one there we go update the plan so this is our arrival it looks a bit messy to be fair so that doesn't look too great um, maybe not too five although we'll figure it out we don't need to we don't really mind right now because we can always do it ourselves um, but yeah anyway we're gonna click fly now and then we're gonna get into the sim. So I'll see you in the sim. So everyone, welcome back to the flight. Um, here you join me in a very early morning, London Gatwick. It's about 6.30 in the morning. Um, this is actually freeware scenery and I'm mind blown by it. It's that this quality of Gatwick scenery is probably one of the best sceneries I have seen freeware ever. Like look, you can even go into terminal here. Like it's really good. I say this is better than some payware scenery out there. It's amazing. Um, obviously, all scenery descriptions and links will be in the description below, which I'll give to you. But anyway, here you jump. I'm not sure what's going on over here. I'm not even sure what that one is, but okay. Um, here you can... What was I talking about? <laughs> I completely forgot. Um, we are now going to head into the flight deck and start planning for the flight. Um, it is an early morning flight. And um, yeah, but you know, it's all good. Let's go and get some external power going. Hello, that's a bit loud. Jeez. Sorry about that, if that hurt anyone's ears. Hurt my ears. Just gonna turn down the flight sim a bit more, that was really loud. Um, right, there we go. So, let's get the batteries on. We're also gonna get the dome light on as well. Nav light, arm the emergency exit lights, seat belts, cruise supply. Ground control is not available. Um, let's get the IRSs aligned as well. We'll get the fuel pump switched on. Perfect. There we go. Everything's loading. Um, right down here. This is the next thing. We. So I want this to be on auto. TA. Two thousand. There we go. Um, We'll lock the door now, just so I remember. Um, that's all good, that's good. And here we have our little tablet as well, which I completely forgot about. We have a little fly pad tablet. If it actually wants to work. There we are. So I'm going to put in our my SimBrief username. So now we should get a from SimBrief. There we go. Perfect. So this is our route. So if I link it to the MCDU, will that do it? No. 
Anyway, let's get that going. Um, actually, before I do that, hope that stops them talking. Sounds like it has. Um, anyway, from slash two. So, e g k k. Oops. Slash Lima Echo Alpha Mike. Pop that in there. There is none, correct. Um, the cost index five. Actually, let's press fly now on SimToolkit Pro. I haven't done that. There we go. Connect MSFS. Nice. Um, okay. Um, a cruise altitude today is 350. No, it's not. 340. Oh, come on. This is kind of ruining this now, aren't I? 340. Nice. And then we're going to go to IRS init, align, confirm. And then over here, I believe, are they linked? Oh, they are as well. Over here, we have the Atsu. And then AOC, which I didn't realize we had. So this is very cool. Let's get the init page. If I do initialize, do you think it'll pop up with it all? Yes, it has. Cool. I really didn't realize it had this. Nice. Um, okay, what about the fuel? Where do I do the fuel in this? I'm pretty sure I've seen it before. In it, ATIS. Um, wouldn't be there, would it? Where did I find the fuel bit last time? There was literally fuel load in here. Kilograms, HPA, realism. That's probably fine. Um, let's go back to the Atsu page. AOC. Initialize. Oh, here we go. That's what we want. So taxi fuel. Is that correct then? Does that... I'm guessing that's what it should be. Let me check actually. 111118. One, 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 that's a bit much. Um, oh, it is. Oh, nice. Load. Oh, it's actually loaded it. OFP, okay, let's do this page. Load. Let's do an OFP request sent. So does that send it somewhere? To send it to the receive messages page? Or maybe not. Okay, anyway, we in it. I hate it how they're linked. I wish they weren't, but oh well. Right, flight plan. Let's do our flight plan page. Departure. ILS two, I'm sorry, runway two six left. The departure we're on today, according to our flight plan, is the bum 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 Novam one X ray, which I believe I've already set before. I'm gonna insert that, and I haven't got a co route, which means I've got to insert all the waypoints manually. So again, I'm gonna do that now. So I'm gonna stop the obviously gonna stop the video to get that done. Um, because it's gonna take quite a while. But yeah, it looks really nice, doesn't it? I'm starting to see the sunrise. I didn't realise you could do all this. Should we contact ground? And request jetway. Hey, that's good. This is such good scenery as well. I love it. Anyway, let me get the flight plan loaded and then I will see you all okay, so after that. I've just finished planning the FMC, so I think we're going to get our perf request. I've, I'm pretty sure I saw it on the MCDU menu, so I think we can do that. Um, not that one, sorry. Atsu, AOC. Do you have a message? No. Right, let's do a perf request. Oh, wait, this is what was on before, wasn't it? We couldn't do it there. OFP request. So it has requested it and sent it. Um, let's get our weights in. The block is one oh eleven point zero. Unless it doesn't let us. Oh, it does. Nice. 
Now the perf page, this is what I've got to try and do. If I just do this, oh it does. Cool, so it has it in for us. Not that I like it like that, but oh well. Um, flaps one slash up, I don't know, so this is 0, 0.0 for now. Um, should we do like a toga? Should we do a toga out of here? Let's do that. Anyway, so the flight plan's loaded. Everything's good, so we're going to get the APU going now. So, master switch. Look at this, it looks so cool. Maybe I can move the the time a bit more. 6.41, we'll say 6.45. Right, let's start the APU. We'll get the throw on the beacon light. By the way, this livery here is in 8K. So you know like 4K, 2K, texture in, this is 8K. So it's mental, so the performance isn't gonna be as good as it would be in like a 2K, but it's very cool. And not only that, but this is my first time finding the Neo on this channel, I think. No, it's not, I've done it in the Lufthansa. But um, what was I gonna say? Um, it's very, it's much better than the 787 when we last on the flight, because I saw people streaming it, and I was like, how are you getting like decent FPS rather than me and the 787 was just about reaching five and like you know so i thought let's give this one a go let's install it and it's and it's perfect like we're in london and it's fine so i don't really see a problem um but yeah anyway this is all of our detail stuff uh dispatch load sheet oh it has it in here that's cool so this bit still isn't Oh, performance page. Oh, top of descent calculator. Okay. If I click this, does that get rid of the jetway? No. Okay. Right. I don't think that's, I don't think that's working yet. AP bleed on. What if that's power up? You hear the APU now. Um, let's get rid of the thingamabob. Um... Could you? Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, we're going to get pushback going as well. So I got rid of the pushback tug feature, so we've got to trust the aircraft to do it. Does this work? No, okay. Fair enough. Anyway, let's get going. So I believe if we just press ATC, uh, request pushback. That little guy over here is going to pop to us. Look at the terminal. So cool. Oh, flight directors. VOR. VOR. Um, let's set our altitude 340. Maybe get some lights on. We are going to need some lights, so. Wait, we're moving. That was quick. Um, parking brake release. Right, let's get the engine started to make sure everything's good up here. That's weird. Has it just taken us off stand with like, everything on us? No. Right. Um, engine start, we'll start engine one first. Look at that sunrise. Must take a screenshot. I can't even hear the engine starting now, can you? Wait, do I have to stop to request pushback? Uh, 
Oops. <laughs> okay. Set parking brakes. How's engine one going? Still starting. Look how beautiful this looks. They've even added the um, inoperative A380 stand, which is great. Amazing scenery. Like I said, all of the details, including the Amaria scenery, is all going to be in the description below, as it always is. And um, you can download it there if you're looking at doing this flight. It's very interesting. Right, let's start engine two. Should be able to hear it soon. Yeah, you can hear it if you turn the volume up a lot, but. Okay, let's get the taxi lights on, the runway turner flights on. Uh, should we dig in the cabin? Cool. Uh, we're going to set flap one and arm the spoilers. Okay, engine two is available. Can we hear it? Just a bit. Just a tiny bit. Okay, let's set max auto brake. Let's do our flight control checks. Full left, full right, full up, and full down. Full rudder left, and full rudder right. Perfect, let's get taxi into the runway. So let's release some parking brakes. Wow, this is so cool. Are we moving? We've got to move ourselves, haven't we? get going drop more thrust than this what no we didn't that's so weird That was so odd. Um, okay. Let's move really quick so they can't do that again. Here we go. First decent flight in the um, A320 Neo, I hope. Let's get going. Um, let's do a takeoff config test. Good. Amazing scene. Okay, so we're just about to turn on to the runway. Let's get them landing lights on. And strobe lights on as well. And the takeoff lights on. There we go. We're ready to roll. Let's get onto the runway. Oh, I forgot to turn off APU. Okay, 
Right, let's start the clock. There we go. Clock starting. Once I actually do remember it, 50%, pretty much already. Stable. Toga. SRS runway. Auto thrust. Bleep. So cool. One hundred knots. V one rotate. There's that wind that comes into effect. Positive climb rate. Gear up. I know. There we are. Let's go. Wow. Absolutely stunning. You can't deny, even though MSFS has got a long way to come, you can't deny that the scenery just looks beautiful. Right, I have to concentrate on the fly in. Let's go thrust climb. Climb thrust. J'adore. Disarm them. Spoilers. Pop in autopilot one. Oops, flaps up. Too busy enjoying the view, you see. Can I turn your screen up a bit more? That's better. Really dark. Oh, hello. What's that about? Oh, it's fine. Just do an opt out climb. Yeah. Great. Let me just increase your screen, please. Thank you. Come on, then. Or don't. It's up to you. Look at these views. Ugh. Oh. You actually can't get enough of it. It feels like you're actually flying in like real life. Something about it. Finally climbing. Such a steep climb. Right, 10,000 feet, let's do a few bits here. So, I forgot there's a bit of a problem with that. Um, landing lights off, we'll try and find that click spot, there we are. Remember to turn off lights off, take off lights off as well. Um, and we'll turn see what signs off, it's okay, we don't need them on. There we go. Wow. 
Right, I'm going to leave it there, everyone. I hope you enjoy it, the cinematics. Well, I say cinematics. It's what I am going to be filming, so, you know, on my own, because there is no trace of pain in this. But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it, and um, I'll see you all nearly at the top of the set, somewhere over Spain. See you soon. Bye-bye. So we are just currently over, we just kind of hit north of Spain, um, if I was quick to show the sim toolkit map, here we are, so just hit north of Spain, um, we're going to start planning for the arrival now because I feel like it, so um, we're going to do that, just remember so I haven't got a keybind set up for the MSFS, so there we are, <laughs> um, right, if we have a look outside really quickly, look how beautiful, I mean I say beautiful, we're covered in cloud, but you still can't deny that the sim looks great, so just saying look at it and we have some amazing cloud surfing we have had a bit of turbulence so i've kept the seatbelt signs on does this aircraft have the weather, weather radar does it not work aha uh -huh. that's interesting that makes a lot more sense now so yeah but anyway we need to start planning for the arrival while we're going through turbulence so almeria arrival the current active runway, um, actually, you know what, I completely forgot, we have MCDU menu, ATSU, AOC, weather request, meta, LEAM, actually I think it just does it anyway, doesn't it, send, and then receive messages, hopefully it pops through, it did last time I done this and it worked, so, I'm just waiting for it to, there we are, meta. Um, print, so if we click print, I'm then pretty sure it pops out of, yes it does, of course it's getting quite bumpy isn't it, anyway, here it is, collect the paper, and it's right there for us, so the meta in El and Amaria is um, 08 at 15 knots, so we'll be arriving on the flight plan, LAM arrival, um, not the 25, it will be the 07 arrival. So we'll do an RNAV. Um, or should we do a localizer? No, we don't have it, do we? Okay, so RNAV 07. Where is it? Shoot, jeez. We're really bouncing around up here. Um, okay, let's do the RNAV 07 arrival. And um, via LVEX, that's right, isn't it? So if we just quickly now go to our flight planning part. Um... Here it is, and we're going to switch some of the arrival because this should be the RNAV 07, that one via LVEX. That just looks like a complete and utter mess. What is that? I, I suppose it's a flight plan we're on, but um, yeah, anyway, we're going via the SL2 Charlie, so we're going to pop that into the flight. Um, SL2 Charlie. Oh, it's great when you don't have it. Okay, so is it a 2 Romeo or a 2 Zulu? Let's have a look what I can do. Hang on, 2 Romeo. Hmm. No. What's the other one? 2 Zulu. 
that's even worse. Alright, now let's see the two Romeo. I think it's the only option we have. Two Romeo. There we go. Via Ellis. Insert. Flight plan. Let's go to Marina's communities if there are any. Which there's not. What was there? No. Which there's not. So great. Let's do the perf page now. Temperature down in Almeria is a good question that I do not know the answer to. So 1026 on the QNH. Uh, the wind is 08 of 50. So it's actually quite windy down there. So we'll have to keep out for that. Um, there we go. And um, let me get the temperature up. So it's currently 16 degrees Celsius. Not too bad. And the transition altitude, I don't know. Oh, actually, I should know. It should tell me on here. I'm um, just update my plan really quickly and go to on oh, no, a current flight. Transition altitude is six thousand feet. What's it at? Now oh, we've got to do it ourselves. There we are, and that's all we've got to do for the arrival plan. In so yeah, there we have it. Oh, hello. That's nice. We're literally just cloud surfing right now. Very cool. But um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I see a top of descent whenever that is because it still doesn't tell us. So, I mean, I'll probably start descending around here. Anzan. Yeah. Okay, see you shortly. Bye bye. We are currently just passing 10,000 feet and we have to have anti-ice on. There is one thing in MSFS that does confuse me and it is the icing system. I'm not quite sure as to why um, we have ice when it's 16 degrees, but you know, you do you. Um, speed, finding it extremely hard to get it down. The speed breaks out, but, oh that's why, got quite a fast descent rate. We need to put out some flaps. ASAP. We're also a bit too high. So I think we should get the speed down and um, and then start descending. So we'll go 180. We have a bit of time but not a lot. Right, speed check flaps 1. God, I miss this place. Just taking screenshots constantly, to be fair. Um, speed check. Flaps 2. Just look how good looking this is. It looks so realistic. There's the airport right there. So we are high at the moment. Um, I'm hoping that we can fix this. So we're going to go flap three now. I know the speed is going to be really close. I'm going to drop the. Should we drop the gear now? I think we're a bit too early for that, really, aren't we? 
I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing like an early configuration, I suppose. I think it would be best if we do drop the gear. It'll create some drag. So flap three gear down. There we go. Hoping the ice cells clear up soon. Right, let's go 160 knots. Really, really need to get that altitude down. I have a feeling we can make it. I'm just a bit curious. That was meant to be at 3,000 quite a while ago. Oh, okay, 3,000 here. I'm meant to be 3,000 right here. So like a thousand feet above where we should be. Let's just keep it going. What's our final landing speed? Perf. Uh, 129. 134, sorry. So let's just give it. Put it to the flat four position. Keep it going down, please. We're getting there. Nearly fixed it. Keep it at 1000. Why are you bringing the nose up? Speed check flats full. Right, let's take manual control now. So, autopilot disconnect. Let's do some manual flying. We've got a headwind like dead on in front of us, so we're okay there. Right, the little um, RNAV display is coming through, which is good. So let's start to descend at a nice rate. This plane flies so much better. So impressed with what um, fly by wire I've done. Anyway, yep, yeah, bring it up. Um, auto brake low for landing. I'm not too sure how this aircraft behaves when it lands. As a fact, we'll go medium just to be safe. We're on a really, really good descent profile. Uh, actually, right, let's do a cabin check. Cabin's ready. Cool. How's that ice? It's going away slowly but surely. So calm. Oh, there's that wind taking an effect. Hit the engines. <laughs> I'm praying for a great landing. I mean, compared to the 787 one, let's be real, guys, this is a lot better. Don't think anyone can say otherwise. Oh, just look at that. Right, let's try and... We're getting a bit wobbly now, so I've got to concentrate a bit more. The wind's coming in a bit, so...
Just got to remember to flare, you know. Touchdown. Very impressive. Right, reverse is green. D cell. Reverse is stowed. Is that clapping? Or am I just being silly? Turn off here. There we are. Welcome to Almeria. But we're going to pop in that speed brake and do some checks. So that flight was an 2 hours and 36 minutes, literally how long it should be. Bring up them flaps. Turn off the anti-ice now. Uh, let's get rid of the landing lights. Runway turn offs off. Taxi lights on. Strobe lights off. Uh, we'll start the APU as well. I'm actually so surprised that landing was not a fail. That was pretty decent. Have to admit that these um, trucks are a bit in the way, aren't they? Not in the best of place. I think they think I'm going to be parking there. That's not true. Sorry about that. Or you. We're parking at this one here, gate 23. Right, taxi lights off. We're going to go in a bit earlier. You know, if you know me in my previous videos, I'm never ever good at these types of parking spaces, but I feel like I'll be decent today. No, I spoke too soon actually. I've got to try and think where that line is. Oh god, right there, okay. I'm not quite sure how they... I mean, I know how they do it, but I can't remember what exactly direction it is. It is like this, isn't it? Yeah. Excuse me, truck, do you mind? I believe that's good enough. I'm pretty sure that's similar to how they do it. Um, okay, so parking brakes set. And let's cut engine one and cut engine two. Uh, AP bleed on. Oh, hello. Uh, continue, thank you. <laughs> AP bleed on. We're going to get rid of these fuel pumps. Like so. There we go. Welcome to Amory Airport, where temperature is currently 16 degrees, I believe. Oh, 15 now. Not too bad, not too bad. But yeah, welcome. This truck's just doing what it wants. Um, we're going to head back to London Gatwick. And um, yeah, that's about it really.
don't know what else to say. Um, landing rate, I can take the landing rate, minus 176. So actually very, very good considering how awful I usually land in this simulator. So yeah, not bad at all. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all for the return very shortly. Bye-bye. See you soon.